For today's adventure, I just plan to be in the woods and do some woodwork. That's all. So I brought some rocks here for the safety of the fire I will bring some more and then I gathered all that wood it's supposed to be some kind of a shelter so the wind doesn't blow from that direction yeah and then I also put those big logs here for comfortable sitting and just enjoyed myself in the woods these birch trees they really make me so happy so i just found some blue wood look at it see I will for sure take that home and let it dry. So I looked it up and that's called Chlorosiboria eruginescens. Sorry for the wrong spelling. Um, I call that blue, but they call it green. Well, Commonly known as the green elf cup or the green wood cup because of its characteristic small green sauce shaped fruit bodies. Although the actual fruit bodies are infrequently seen, the green staining of wood caused by the fungus. So that's what you see in the wood. I didn't see the mushroom itself, but I saw this kind of wood. That's why I got so excited. It's through and through. Will be a very nice stick. See? Once this is dried, this will be so beautiful. Blue and blue and more blue. It's amazing. So I just cleaned it a bit. It's always good to have a Swiss knife with you. At least here they calling it blue green because to me that is really blue not green <laughs> maybe those guys on wikipedia were colorblind or something woodworkers call this wood green rot or green stain colored ciboria species are not considered true wood decay fungi as are the white rot and brown rot basidiomycetes but these ascomycetes may be soft rot fungi that can cause small counts of erosion in the wood cell walls it is also possible that they do not degrade the cell wall directly but colonize wood decayed by other fungi earlier in the decay process 
the discoloration is caused by the production of the pigment silindane, which is classified by chemists as a naphthaquinone. This pigment exists in several different forms of various colors within the wood cells. The combination of a yellow-orange form with a blue-green form results in the dazzling blue-green coloration of the colonized wood. Woodworkers have priced chlorosiboria stained wood for centuries. Dr. Robert Blanchett at the University of Minnesota showed that 14th and 15th century Renaissance Italian craftsmen used the wood to provide the green colors in their intricate inlaid intarsia designs. English woodworkers in the town of Tunbridge Wells, Kent, started using small splinters and veneers of the green stained wood to form highly detailed pictures of animals. Hmm, so interesting. Flowers, local landscapes and geometric designs, which were often inset into the lids of small wooden boxes. These antiques are called Tunbridge ware and are very valuable today. So here you see the artwork. So I'm so happy I found that blue birch. <laughs> what a gift from the forest. Look at it. <laughs> so happy now.